Hello everyone. Here we are. Uh, we're going to be talking about units of uh, pressure and uh, how to convert them. Pressure is a force. Is the force per unit area caused by the collision of the particles in motion. This picture illustrates how the particles of a gas can be bouncing off the walls of the container and causing pressure. Gases exert pressure. So here are a few examples of things uh, that depend on pressure or that we measure pressure for. We have a bicycle tire, a car tire, we have a soccer ball, we have on the left hand side, bottom left hand side, we have a um, gas, a natural gas pipeline, and on the top we have a picture of the atmosphere. For all of these um, gadgets and all of these um, things, we have ways to measure the pressure and uh, we can add air, for example, to the ball and then we can measure its pressure and we can add uh, air to the, a tire and measure its pressure. Uh, on the upper right hand corner you see the uh, pressure cooker which some of you may be familiar with if you have grandmas. Uh, they may be, um, they may have used them in the past. Alright and here we have some gadgets that you can see that measure pressure. On the upper left hand corner you have a, a barometer, a um, uh, then you have another barometer in the middle, an older type barometer, uh, which measures the atmospheric pressure. Both of those would measure atmospheric pressure. On the lower left, you have pressure gauges for gases in tanks, uh, such as uh, possibly a propane tank or a methane tank, um, that, and you can measure the pressure of that. On the upper right-hand corner, we see a um, device to measure tire pressure. Uh, and on the bottom we have a um, device to measure the pre pressure of a pressure cooker uh, that is attached. This is also used for canning. You might ask your grandmas about that. Uh, all right, so we, we're moving right along and uh, now we're going to talk about the uh, common units. Uh, here are some common units. One atmosphere is equal to 101.3 kilopascals, equals to 760 millimeters of mercury. That may have been cut off there. Um, however, I want you to remember that these units of measure are nothing um, really strange to us. For example, when you measure length of a something, uh, a distance, you measure in, you can measure in feet, you can measure in uh, meters, you can measure in kilometers, you can measure in inches, you can measure in centimeters. So there are many different ways to measure. Well, pressure is measured in with certain units. And the, these units are uh, atmosphere, kilopascals, and millimeters of mercury. These are the ones we're going to start with. But there are many others. All right, so um, here's a, um, see if I can move this down a little bit. Uh, here's a problem. And the problem says that pressure, uh, the pressure inside a tire is equal to 225 kilopascals. What is the pressure of the tire in atmospheres? What is the pressure of the tire in millimeters of mercury? So if you remember your dimensional analysis, we're going to start out by um, making sure that we have um, the conversion factors necessary and that we start out with the right units and asking ourselves what are we looking for. So question mark. We are first going to write what are we looking for, which is uh, we're looking for the uh, pressure of the tire in atmosphere. So I'm going to say ATMs to start with. All right. All right. Sorry about that. All right. So um, this is ATMs. And uh, I'm going to start out with 225 kilo, here I did it again, oops, all right, I have to take this again, uh, kilo pascals, KPA, 
and uh, we want to convert to ATMs. So we're going to draw our railroad tracks and we're going to remember that we want to get rid of um, kilopascals. So we have to find a conversion factor uh, back here. I'm going to come back over here and our conversion factor is one atmosphere equals 101.3 kilopascals. So I'm going to say one atmosphere equals 101.3 kilopascals. I'm having trouble writing today. That's 101.3. All right, so uh, I can either use 101 ATMs over 101.3 kPa's or 101.3 kPa's over uh, one atmosphere. Which one would I decide to use? Well, we know that kPa's is, um, uh, we, is the unit that we want to get rid of, so I'm going to put kPa's down here, and I'm going to put one atmosphere up here. And uh, we know that our number is 101. Point three, and I'm going to have, go ahead and work it out. Kilopascals will cancel out. Uh, Two hundred and twenty-five um, divided by one hundred one point three kilopascals is equal to two point two atms. All right. So the next one I want you to solve it yourself. What is the pressure of the tire in millimeters of mercury? So I'm going to again go to uh, start out, what am I looking for, question mark, I am looking for millimeters of mercury. And I have 100 and, uh, I'm sorry, I start out with 225 kilopascals, which was given. I'm going to draw my railroad tracks, and I'm going to uh, go back over here and check my conversions. My conversions are 760 millimeters of mercury is equal to 101.3 kPa's. All right, so I'm going to write my conversion, 760 millimeters of mercury is equal to 101.3 kPa's. I know that whatever I want to get rid of, I'm going to put on the bottom so that I can uh, cross out my units. KPAs go on the bottom. Millimeters of mercury, millimeters of mercury go on the top. Uh, 760, 101.3 KPAs. Pause, do the math, and this results in 1690 millimeters of mercury. Okay. All right, so that's it. That's all there is to uh, conversion factors, and tomorrow we will do more practice in class.